What the State Department has asked us to do is first make sure that we vaccinate um, healthcare workers that work at long-term care facilities uh, that are in our county, so we're going to do that first. And after that, we're going to be vaccinating frontline healthcare workers, licensed professionals, and other uh, professionals that are taking care of patients on a day-to-day -day basis. We do have uh, the ultra-cold uh, freezers uh, ready to go. We have the supplies, we have the nursing staff uh, to get this going right away. One of the key issues with the vaccine is we do feel it's actually very safe. Based on the combined studies of Pfizer and Moderna, there's 70,000 people that have received been in studies for the vaccine. And the, and the side effects are about 2 to 5 percent. And there are side effects of headaches, muscle aches, and fatigue, but there's been no serious side effects. What I caution people, though, is that being immunized does not mean that you can't transmit it. So it's still very important to wear your mask and do social distancing, because even if you get vaccinated, you may not get the virus anymore, but we don't know if you can still transmit to somebody else. We are not mandating the vaccine, and the reason is simple. The FDA has approved this as an emergency authorization uh, for this vaccine. It's not a full FDA approval. We still need long-term studies to see what the long-term benefits and safety profile is. We feel very comfortable where we are, but because it's not fully FDA approved and we don't know the long-term safety, we do want to be cautious and not mandate it. Our hope is that by summertime, everybody that needs to get a vaccine will get a vaccine. So we ask you to be patient, very excited about it, and we do see this as a, as a, as a direction to go where we need to go. If you could really try to be very careful, if you're above 65, not do any, any kind of gatherings after this Christmas, you'll have many more Christmases after this. So I can't stress enough that if you're above 65 with any health care conditions, we recommend you don't go outside, even not going to grocery stores, having others do that for you. Once we get the vaccines, the end is in sight. So be as cautious as you can for the next few weeks. And after that, we hopefully will get back to something different than what we have today.